Portland, this new shave today. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. Now, got new stuff in this one and stuff that people have been wanting for a long time. Yes, let's just get straight into this. Four days growth. Yes, I did shave on Tuesday. No camera. Sorry, guys and gals. All right, razor we're going with. <clears throat> we're going to be going with my Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Nickel Plated DOC. My very first razor I bought from Razor Emporium many, many, many moons ago. Yeah, so that's what we're going to use. Very nice, mild razor. <laughs> Works with a lot of different blades for me, and yeah, I dig it. Blade we're going with, we're going to be going with some Astra Blues. Picked these up from Razor and Poirot a while ago, and these are the good. I like the blues. I don't like the greens. I know a lot of people like the greens. I don't. They don't agree with me. Sorry. If they work for you, cool. Your mileage may vary. If it works for you, good. If it doesn't, doesn't, but I like the blue ones. So we're going with the blues. The blooms. Hey, Spongebob, we're going with the balloons. It's got the writing on one side, nothing on the other, plain, just the dots. So, we go here. <laughs> you will not laugh, you will not cry, you will learn by the numbers. <laughs> I was watching that the other day. If you guys know what movie that's from. <laughs> Private Joker, that's what we're going to call you. How about Private Snowball? You guys know what movie that is, right? Yeah. All right, so I got that one in there. Uh, yeah, got that in there. All right, so brush we're going with, we're going to be going with my Zingari Man brush. Uh, 26 millimeter Venturian fin, synthetic knot. Yes, I thought it fit color-wise, looks awesome. Good brush, check it out. It's good. Yeah, so here we go. Now, I'm going to be using this at the end, but I'm going to tell you guys about it now. If you guys want to fast forward to the end and see me use it, cool. But people been dug it. People have been dugging. People have been bugging Douglas Smythe for a long time for this, and it finally dropped. And it's like, yeah, if you've been wanting to get the King R Emporium EDP, it is now at Razor Emporium. Yes, I'm gonna be using this at the end, but yes, brand new. Um, yeah, I know uh, Craig McDonald wanted one for a while, so I know a lot of people have been wanting this in the EDP. You cannot get this at the Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements website. This is specifically made for Razor Emporium. Links down below. So, we'll be using that at the end. I know a lot of people have been wanting this, so it's out now. Go check it out. Link below. All right. What else we're going to be using? We're going to be using Phoenix Art. It is made by Phoenix Art and Accoutrements, but it's made for Razor Emporium. So, it is right? Phoenix Art and Accoutrements, King R Emporium. Yeah, I just woke up. Yeah. CK6, brand new. I bought this when I was at the AZ Shavers meetup. So, yes, there we go. Check it out. Brand new CK6. I do have the CK1 too. I've given that, I've given this away to quite a few people with my other tub. I haven't had one person say they did not like this. Everyone I've ever showed this or everyone who's tried this is like, this is awesome. This is good. We know where it came from, source from those canisters. Good, clean, old school, classic. Very good scent. So that's what we're going to be using today. Now, brand, brand new. We're going to be using this too. <laughs> this is from Razor Emporium. This is brand new. They were actually giving these away on Labor Day. Like if you bought a set of Razor Emporium soap and splash, they were giving you a free pre-shave. Razor Emporium now has their own pre-shave. You guys know how, how big of a fan I am of PAA's cube. I got like, a, like on the counter right now, I've got 11 cubes sitting right here. My first pre-shave was when I went to Razor Emporium a long, long, long time ago, and I see Matt Pisarsic, he always uses his, um, the Pro Rasso. So I bought Pro Rasso Sandalwood Red. I used that for a while, and then I found Cube, and I've been using the Cube ever since. So now Razor Emporium's got their own pre-shave, and they're in, their, they're in the pre-shave game now. So this is what we're going to be using today. This is, yeah, pre-shave soap, Razor Emporium. Uh, ingredients are coconut oil, palm oil, saffle, saff, saffle, I can't read. Safflower oil, glycerin, water, sodium hydroxide, sorbitol, propylene glycol, sorbitine al aliate, oatmeal, oat protein, castor oil, aloe, and charcoal. I can't read today. It's too early. <laughs> so, okay, this is off their website. <clears throat> Our new pre-shave soap is made entirely from scratch in-house from natural and vegan ingredients. A pre-shave product is a vital tool to enhance your shaving preparation and your results. Have hard water, poor performing soap, need extra glide, 
Our four ounce pre-shave soap is crafted to provide a quick solution that will transform your routine. Slick shaving without any heavy feeling on your skin or irritation, irritating after effects with glycerin for glide and oat protein for skin conditioning and great post feel. Post-shave feel, this pre-shave soap is a terrific addition to any shave den. The scent. Scent is a clean, fresh, and nat clean, fresh and natural and is easily recognizable as classic masculine. Won't compete with any won't compete with any soap leather scent. Yeah. It's got a light scent to it. It's not real in your face. It's light. It almost reminds me of the AZ Shavers Meetup scent or um, Fireside. It's got that kind of scent to it, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I wasn't sent this. <laughs> I don't have an affiliate link below. I saw this. I bought it. Matt Passar 6 not like, hey, Chris, check this out. No, I bought it on my own. I know nothing about it. Never used it. It's the first time I'm going to be using it, and I think it's pretty cool that Razor Emporium has their own pre-shave now. So we're going to give it a go for the first time. So it smells nice, though. So I'm going to open this. Let me get this lathered up and I'll be right back. All right, okay, I'm back. So we're gonna be doing this pre-shave. Now, I'll show you guys something. I'm old school. I've had this for, okay, I'm gonna say this. This is unobtainium. So you guys can tell how long I've been a fan. So the shirt's no longer available, but I'm gonna be rocking it today. Yes, fan for a while. So Razor Emporium was the first like place I went to get into the uh, rabbit hole of wet shaving. And yeah, that's when they're at the old place in Phoenix. So, that's how you open it. Oh, yeah, it's got, I think it's at Fireside. Um, it smells like Fireside or the AZ Shavers Meetup. Yeah, that's what it smells like to me. I could be wrong, but yeah, cool. All right, so this is what we're gonna be using today: Razor Emporium pre shaver. Like I said, I started with the Pro Rasso because I was watching when I first started wet shaving. I don't know a dang thing except for Pro Rasso. I was watching their ladder be shaving. I didn't know about Cube yet. And I was watching like Matt Pasarsic's videos, and Matt Pasarsic would always use Pro, uh, Pro Rasso for his pre shave. So that's what I started with. And then I got with Cube. Hey, what's up, Cube? <laughs> and then I used Cube for, I'm like I said, I got like 11 on the counter and then now razor emporium has their own pre-shave that's pretty it's pretty awesome and same state too so just like any pre-shave like like cube you just rub it on your face yeah i think that's i think that's fireside i don't know it's light though so it's not like it's like in your face so well it is on your face but it's not a real heavy heavy scent it's not like i said it's not going to compete with any of your shave so the scent slathers, right? Nice. Mm -mm. Might be a long video, but you know what? Oh well. Got a lot of talking points in this one. Mm -mm. Kind of want to do it right you know cool so that's the new raisin emporium pre-shave on there king r emporium that starts to go in the front yeah all right maybe too much water i don't know usually don't add enough water i add too much water <laughs> someday i'll know how to i'll learn how to lather <laughs> all right here we go bam boom Yeah, this shirt I got when the very first time I went to Razor Emporium, I bought it. And then they came out with the black ones. They didn't have this white one around very long. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. But I got one. Any Anybody else watching my video? Do you guys have this one? Do you guys have this shirt? Comment below. If you have this shirt, comment below. Also, does anything look different in the video, dude? Have you guys noticed yet something... What is that? Oh, that's coming soon too. <laughs> yep, 
you guys got, if you follow me on Instagram, this is my Instagram. If you guys got an Instagram account, follow me. I post stuff that, like, coming soon, or if you guys see my shave of the day photos, stuff like that. I try real hard, so hit up my Instagram, check it out so you guys can see, like, my uh, shave of the day photos or anything else I post or whatever. And, yeah, you know about whatever the heck that is. Yeah, that's coming soon. Coming soon to a theater near you. Theater near you. Razor Emporium pre-shave. I think it's pretty cool. With the razor. And I'm on the finger. Rain on the scarecrow. Blood on the plow. Alright, pass number one. Here we go. Four days growth. Let's see where we go. Yep, leaves those rakes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wet Shaving Store posted a photo on Instagram. <laughs> Go follow them, too. They're cool. Oh, yeah. Residual slickness. CK6. We know how they, we know how they do it. How y'all doing today? It's Saturday. Saturday. It rained last night. Just a little bit of rain. And yesterday, I was trying to get the thumbnail for this video. Right when I'm about to get the thumbnail for it, all of a sudden cloud come. I'm like, dang it, I'm trying to get the sun. Trying to use the sun for some lighting. And then the clouds came out. I'm like, man, look at the forecast. Oh, it's going to rain. Like, perfect time to grab a photo, Chris. <laughs> so, sun finally came out last night. I hurried up, so I didn't get any cloud coverage. So, that's why I got that. That's how the thumbnail turned out. I wanted it more brighter sun, but didn't work out that way. But I think it looks okay. You guys gotta check out my Instagram. I, I try really hard with my photos and stuff. Like, I'm pretty anal retentive. Like, if you look at my, um, before I use a shave of the day photo or anything... It'll show how, like, you deleted all your photos. I'll literally have, like, 10 or 20 photos that didn't make the cut. And then, okay, delete. Always looking for that one perfect shot for the products. Very nice. This is nice. Nice. Do, do, do. Ooh, you're getting tricky, Chris. Very forgiving razor to me, though. It works for me. It's a mild razor, but it works with a lot of different DE blades for me. I know a lot of guys that have really, really coarse hair. This razor doesn't really work for them very well. But it does me. So, what works for you works for you. What works for someone else doesn't. Cool. Yep, see, I knew it. I'm trying to go against that, Chris. Oh, well. Okay. Mustache, your question. Don't eat the soap, pump. Don't eat the soap, homie. All right. Got me there. I figured I'm getting all cocky, blah, blah, blah. All right. Two pass on the cheek and we can be done. Yeah. King Arm Emporium scent. Yeah, that, it did the, 
Razor Emporium pre-shave. It dissipates real quick. Like, I can't even smell it now. So that's cool. And there's no menthol in it, too. So if you guys are like, damn, I don't want no menthol. Some guys can't stand the menthol. So this is good. This is good entry. Maybe they're going to come out with menthol. I don't know anything about this. I honestly don't know anything about this. I didn't talk to Matt Pisarsic about it. I just saw it on the website, read it, and I bought it. That's that's it. So. Maybe they'll come out with a menthol that sells pretty good. Like this one. Which, pretty cool. I think it's pretty awesome they're getting into their own pre-shaves. Not a bad idea. Why not? Oh, that one got me good. Damn. Good job, Chris. Oh, well. I'll clean that one up. Clean that one up. Do -do 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 -do. Saturday. Saturday. Catterday was last Saturday. Thought about using the carbon again, but I'm like, man, I want to use this razor. <laughs> Just shave, do it your way. I like this razor. Besides me messing up and getting myself, which I knew I was going to do. Very good buffing razor. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Are you guys good? I'm good. All right. Besides that, that's it. No other weepers. No, nothing here. No, it's a weird blemish. I don't know. Very close. Very slick. Very smooth. BBS. Damn fine shave. Very good. All right. Except for that, yeah, clean up and up. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, yeah. Very close, very smooth, BBS. Damn fine shave. I try not to get no blood on my white shirt because, yeah, that would be very bad. I don't know if I'm going to use a stiptic stick on that or not, but, yeah. We're doing alum block. Alum block. Alum block. Yeah. Yeah, Astro Blues. Astro Blues. I like them. I like the Astro Blues. We're in. Yeah, it's still bleeding, man. Good job, Chris. Good job. Problem area, don't go down. What did I do? I went down. Put all my white socks with my all blue chucks. Stepped at the house. Oh no! <laughs> all right. Hey, Phoenix Artisan, Artisan Accoutrements made for Razor Emporium, King R Emporium after shave. Dang good. You guys got to try this one. This is awesome. It smells so good. It's one of them ones that like not many people know about, but I've used it a couple times. Oh, that burns. That's a close shave. Wow. Mm. Oh, this is a good scent. You guys got to try it. <coughs> There's no sample on the PAO website, so you got to buy it straight out. And it's not a bad scent. Like I said, I haven't seen or um anyone I've showed this scent to. Everyone's liked it, so it's not like something like, ugh. ugh. No, it's, it's a good scent. It's good. It's good. Alrighty then, so, brand new King Arporium ADP, there is, there is the Star Jelly 2. I said at the beginning, I put it down below, forgot to say that at the beginning of the video, yes, there's ADP, there's also a Star Jelly of King Arporium now, mentholated and non-mentholated, so, best of both worlds, what are you going to try? Finally, Doug finally came out with this, and yeah, a lot of shavers been bugging him for a long time about it, so. You know, you know how I do it. Mm. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. All right. <sighs> oh, I cleaned up all right. Okay, recap of what we used today. So, we used the Inkstars and Accoutrements, King R Emporium, only can get it Razor Emporium. After shave, map starts on there. The mustache looking like a uh, King C Gillette. <laughs> also, brand new. Go check it out. King R Emporium EDP. You can only get this at Razor Emporium. Not at the Phoenix Circus and Accoutrement website. We use PA Allen Block. Ay vey. 
Oh, it's Aweiwei. No mames. Uh, Singari Man brush, 26 millimeter fan knot, fan shurian synthetic. Not <clears throat> cool brush. I like it. I dig it. I also use Phoenix Stars and Accoutrements PAA. Nickel plated DOC with a first use Astra Blue. Very good. That it stopped bleeding. Cool. All right. Also used my Pro Data Bowl. Scoot with the Intergalactic Base Pick. We also use King R Emporium, Phoenix Arts Coochman's CK6 Soap. And one star of the show today, brand new. Razor Emporium Pre-Shave pre -shave Shaving Soap. Their new pre-shave, I it smells like Fireside to me, but the scent dissipates really fast, so it's not like it's... That reminds me of Fireside or the AZ Shavers Meetup Soap, so... Very cool. Razor Emporium now has their own pre-shave if you want to go check it out, if you're into pre-shave, so yes. Like I said, I've been using Cube for a long time. I use the Cube in the shower. That's the only thing I wash my face with is Cube. I don't use my Pro Rasta pre-shave no more, but I'm going to be using this pre-shave. And I'm going to be the first one to review this on YouTube, so cool. Go check it out. Check out anything below. Um, I don't have any affiliate links on down below, so if it's not an affiliate link, just go check it out down below. Sorry, this is unobtaining. You can't get it, but... <laughs> Anyways, is that it? Oh, here's our shavers for today. I've been drinking this. Prime lemon. Yeah, lemon lime. That's good stuff. It's good stuff, Maynard. So, also that's coming soon, too. There's two of them. Somebody else has one. His name's Greg Tardiff, shaving with Greg Tardiff. So, that's coming soon. So you guys can see this better. Yes. Coming soon. Oh, I can't zoom in. Oh. All right. <laughs> so, that's the shave of the day, ladies and gents. So, yeah, that's cleaned up good, too. So, hope you ladies and gents have a good day, good week, shaves, today's Saturday, go do something. I hate this freaking hair. I do not like the way it looks. I want to shave it all off. <laughs> anyway, see you ladies and gents soon. Bye. Wow!